Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here. Four new 2019 fall releases have been revealed from Briar, or more specifically, they've been revealed from Briar dealers. And so in this video, we're going to take a look at these four new releases, and I'm also going to give my thoughts and opinions about them. The first one here is called Lightning Ridge, and he is a decorator limited to 3,000 pieces. He is a clear rare decorator based on opal gemstones, specifically black opals, found in Lightning Ridge, South Wales, Australia, hence his name, Lightning Ridge. It says he features a turquoise undercoat with layers of maroon, red, and gold metallic. With a high gloss finish, Lightning Ridge's coat mimics the look of a black opal and is gorgeous from every angle. So this guy is definitely an interesting color. I don't recall Briar ever making a model specifically in these colors before. And I just now realized that this guy is actually probably in the same series along with the model Bisbee that was released earlier this year because she was based after turquoise. And then we have this guy, Lightning Ridge, who is based after opals. So I'm guessing this is going to be a kind of gemstone series that Briar is doing, which I think is really, really awesome. Now, I'm not too sure about this guy for myself personally. He is kind of pretty, but I would have to probably see him in person. I'm very iffy on clearware models. Sometimes I really like them, but most of the times I don't particularly care for them. I don't really know how I feel about this guy just based on this stock photo of him. His colors kind of look a little bit muddy a little bit, but he may be a lot prettier in person. So I'm not sure. I'll have to see him in person and see how I feel about him. But I am really happy if they are in fact doing a gemstone series of briar horses like this. And I look forward to seeing what other decorator gemstone colored horses they're going to come up with. Next up is Ka... Ka... Ha, I don't know. So Kahalid? Maybe. That sounds kind of close. Kahalid. We're going to just say Kahalid for now. So this is Kahalid and he is a limited edition for brick and motor stores only. And he is actually limited to 2,500 pieces, so a little less than Lightning Ridge. These brick and mortar models can only be found at like Briar dealer retail stores. But this means I'm going to have to search for this guy at my local Briar retailer because I am absolutely in love with him. He is on the Marwari mold, but he has the like thicker mane and tail and like swishy longer tail compared to the usual Marwari mane and tail. Now we have seen this mane and tail before on Hot Couture from Briarfest 2015 special runs, but I don't believe they've done this particular one before, except for maybe like on the one of a kind live auction models. So it's cool to see this mane and tail version of the Marwari come out again and be a little bit more widely available. I am personally really, really, really loving this guy. I, I need to have him. He is so gorgeous. I love this mold. I love his coloring and his markings are really cool. Can't wait to get my hands on him, hopefully. And I will say he is my favorite of these four fall releases so far. I think he is absolutely stunning. The third release is a classic model, or I guess actually a Freedom Series model, because Briar is rebranding the classic models and now calling them Freedom Series. I'm probably always still going to call them classics, but uh, you know what I mean. So this is National Velvet, and it is a horse and book set, so you get this little classic horse along with the National Velvet book. This classic model is really cute. It's on the, like, appendix quarter horse mold, or I'm not really sure if that's what it's called exactly. And it's kind of like one of the Stablemate scale molds that's been scaled up. I like the markings on it a lot. It's really cool, really neat uh, black Tobiano Pinto. I probably won't be getting this for myself just because I don't really collect classics once in a great while. I'll pick up one here and there that I really like. But classics are ones I'm trying not to collect because I already collect so many other things. But this horse is really cute. I really like the markings on it and the mold. So I think it's going to be a nice little addition for the classic series or freedom series. Lastly are more classics, but these are two classic unicorn foals. Their names are Zoe and Xander. I'm going to guess the blue one is Zoe and the green one is Xander. 
And they're pretty cute. Again, I'm not going to probably be getting these guys because I try to refrain from collecting classics unless it's a model that I just completely, totally love. But these guys are really cute. I know Briar has been doing a lot of unicorns lately, but I think they're really fun fantasy models. You can kind of tell in the picture here, it looks like that Zoe has like silver hooves and maybe a silver horn. And Xander has a gold horn and gold hooves. So there's those four releases, technically five I guess because there's two fulls. I don't know if there's going to be any more fall releases out or not. I may put this video up and then there will be like a couple more releases that are suddenly revealed or something. But Briar usually does also have a lot of web special releases and stuff that are going to be coming out soon. So we'll be seeing those soon as well. Let me know down in the comments below if you are planning on getting any of these models. And if you're wondering when they come out, these are from the Briar dealer catalogs and they say that they're going to be shipped in September, which is this month. So it means that Briar dealers will be getting these very soon and some are even already taking pre-orders. So keep an eye out for these guys. They're all going to be coming out very shortly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone! Thank you.